A man protecting his car helps police catch an alleged kidnapper and carjacker. Cops believe this is the guy who took a van with two children in it earlier this week. CBS 4's reporter Peter Dench is live in Opelika with this story. And Peter, you spoke to this man's mother? That's right. She told us, Shannon, she is stunned by all of this. The lead investigator in this case says the man they arrested is a known carjacker. Now, he was a suspect all along because he has a record, and he was tied directly to this case today because of the car police say that he tried to steal. It's not him. He wouldn't do something like that. That's just stone crazy. The mother of 24-year-old Joseph Brogdon can't believe her son is now accused of Monday's notorious 90-minute carjacking. Police say Brogdon is the man seen on the surveillance videotape who stole a car with two boys in it, including this two-year-old child. A 50-block ride that police say terrified them. That's crazy. I don't think he would do something like that, you know, no. to jeopardize somebody. Police say Brogdon was arrested Friday after he stole a man's car, a man who followed him. Uh, he jumped in the car and uh, drove off with the vehicle, being followed by the victim in another vehicle. Uh, the, the whole time the victim was on the phone with the police uh, and following and giving directions until the subject crashed the vehicle. The victim restrained Brogdon until police arrived. The lead investigator says Brogdon confessed to taking Beverly Ferguson's vehicle after she parked it at a store with her children inside it. During the course of the interview, he uh, confessed uh, that he did jump in the van with the children, but he didn't know they were in the van. So why didn't Brogdon stop? Uh, he said because he, he, there was too many police officers in the area, and he was scared that they were all looking for him, so he continued with the children. Brogdon had been a suspect in the children's abduction because police say he was charged with grand theft for stealing a car a month ago. His arrest was cause for celebration here on this 4th of July at this Opalaka Park. That's one less person that can be a predator on the residents and visitors to our fair city. It's exciting. The officers out there, they caught the guy, and that's to let people know if you're going to commit a crime in Opelika, we're coming after you. Beverly Ferguson took her two children to fireworks tonight, but she did indicate to a family member that she may talk tomorrow. Meanwhile, Joseph Brogdon has been charged with grand theft once again, the third time in the past month, and kidnapping as well, and faces a court appearance in the morning. We're live in Opelika, Peter Dan, CBS 4 News tonight.